friends, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and Merry Christmas to everyone who's celebrating with me. I know a lot of other families celebrate other traditions this wonderful season, but whatever you are celebrating, a happy holiday from me to you, and Merry Christmas. Anyway, so let's talk about what I'm doing right here. Every year on Instagram, I do a Christmas Advent calendar. It's a calendar where I draw out 25 boxes and I count down to Christmas by, by drawing a character every day to Christmas by, it could be a Christmas character, it could be any kind of cartoon character, but that's how I do it. And I give a little twist to their, like a little Christmas twist to every single one of them. I've been doing this for the last three years. I saw it from a couple of other Instagram artists a long time ago. <laughs> well, three years ago. So I thought I would go ahead and do this tradition every single year on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can catch you can catch the uh, Christmas 2018. This is just a way for me to do. Um, I know a lot of YouTubers do like the 25 days of Vlogmas, or they do 25 videos of Christmas, and or the 12 days of Christmas, and that is just something. I can't do because I am so insanely busy because I had Christmas commissions, I had Christmas presents for family members and friends I had to get done, I had Christmas cards, I had two Christmas carol plays this past December, and all the other fun stuff that comes along with the month of December. I am completely slammed. And what I did was, this piece of paper is actually, um, I think it, I don't even know where it went. It's huge. It's like 19, yes, 19 by 24 inches. So I got this huge, I wanted to do it on this big of a piece of paper because I wanted to get more detailed with my characters this year. Because if you go on my Instagram and you look at the past years, then you see that they were all on 9 by 12 pieces of paper. And the other thing is, I am working on gray toned paper this year and the last two years were toned tan. So go and check those out because those were a lot of fun. I did a lot of other Cartoon Network characters or Disney characters. Um, I got I got a couple, I got a little bit realistic this year with my characters. I kind of branched off and interpreted characters, real life characters in my own cartoon style. Uh, you saw Kylo, you see Buddy and you see um, Harry Potter's on there with Ron and Hermione. You'll see it at the end of this video. And I got Peter Parker right above Clarice that you can see in Anastasia. I tried to branch off a little bit more, but I wanted to branch off by size wise as well because I wanted a big piece of paper. I probably will not do that again <laughs> just because when my advent calendar was 9 by 12 it was in my book and it was in the spiral notebook. I could take it anywhere and it wouldn't be hurt. This thing, I rolled up everywhere and carried it with me to work, to the theater, to anywhere. I, I even did a couple in my car. I, I mean, it was a pain in the butt to carry around just because it was so big. And I, ha I, it's, it's creased a ton. By the time you put colored pencils over the creases, it, it kind of gets rid of it a little bit. Just the effect that, oh, I bent this about 50 times. It was carrying... It was like carrying a poster around the whole day, a movie poster. And it didn't bother me, but I i mean, I loved the way that this turned out. There was a couple that I kind of wanted to redo and some I was just like, oh God, this looks horrible. Like um, Stitch and Winnie the Pooh, I really messed up, I messed up on them big time. And that's the thing about the advent calendars, you can't start all over. You, you probably could start all over if you were on day five and you thought, oh, this is not looking good and you just redid it. But the, this is such a challenge to start over. And if you mess up on one character a day, you're doomed. <laughs> so I wanted to do the last five days of Christmas on, in a video for you. And I was like withdrawing myself from actually working on these characters. Whoa. There's people on here and they're talking to me. I have no idea what that is. Anyways, <laughs> Instagram, there it is. See, you can talk to me on Instagram and I get it right away. Anyways, <laughs> um, so I did the five days of Christmas. I wanted to record that for you all just because it's five days of Christmas and I thought Instagram just can't get all the love. But if, but this Instagram does get a lot of love because I, I'm growing on Instagram when I post my art every day. That's how I keep track of myself and practice at least once a day. I just got an iPad Pro for Christmas. I got the Procreate app and I got the Apple Pencil. So I'm going to start posting a ton of digital artwork and just trying to 
Because when it comes to my branching off and practicing new mediums, I never practiced digital, and that's why I asked for the iPad Pro for Christmas. Just be, I, I tested it out once. I really liked it, and I liked doodling on it. It's very user friendly, and I just want to give it a start. It's it's like the training program for me to actually decide if I really want to get into digital art. So if you don't follow me on there, make sure you follow me on there because I'm gonna go crazy with all these iPad sketches. And since I don't get I <laughs> I don't get my Elo sketchbook until the middle of January because they're in back order. So I don't get my Elo sketchbook until January. That means I'm gonna be on my iPad the whole time until I get my sketchbook because I'm I've grown I've been growing on that ELO sketchbook, and that's the sketchbook I used in my Inktober videos. So I really, really, really love it. It can handle heavy mediums such as ink and colored pencils. So I'm hooked on it and they are on back order. So that means I have to wait. Until then, I will keep practicing digital art on my iPad Pro. But yes, follow me on Instagram, check those out. But I really, the thing that I really love about these advent calendars is it is a great way for you guys to keep track of yourself when it comes to practicing. Speaking of practicing, because um, you try different things every year, and I tried real people into cartoon characters in my own style this year. Some were successful, some weren't. I really love the way that Eleven, you're gonna see Eleven too from Stranger Things, and you're gonna see Yondu. I love the way that those two turned out, and I love the way Peter Parker turned out. Oh, I am in love with him. <laughs> but it's just, it's a way to look back, because if you're doing this every Christmas, join me in this advent calendar, because every Christmas, you get to see that, oh, Oh my gosh, I have improved so much. My coloring style has improved so much. Wow, I it, it's a great way. You, I mean, take this and put it in a frame. I don't know if I can put this one in a frame, but I you get the 9 by 12 sheets of paper and you put it in a frame, put it in your Christmas boxes or your decoration boxes, whatever, throw them in storage and then bring them out the next year. And that way you're reminded of it and you can see how much you are growing as an artist every single year. It is a fun, fun challenge. And I suggest for you all to do the advent calendar challenge. It's just, it's fun because it makes Christmas a little bit more special. There were days I little I, I kind of like was freaking out a bit, but just because I didn't get an advent calendar thing done for the day. But then I improvised and a couple were planned out, but the couples like uh Elsa and Jack, those were planned. Kylo and Ray were planned, but the Harry Potter one, I, <laughs> I was really slacking on that. I wanted them to all be together, but at the same time, I wanted it to be this I I don't know. I just wanted them to be this big montage but I skipped like five days and I felt horrible for it. So here we are. You can start seeing all of them together as one big piece of paper. I love, love the Ron and Hermione and uh, Harry. Ron and Hermione and Harry. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> and I love the way Eleven turned out. I love Loki with the Tesseract and I think that this year's advent calendar really came out well. So leave in the comments down below, are you having a Merry Christmas? Are you having a good day? Will you participate with me in the Christmas advent calendar challenge next year? Um, I think I'll probably get this big of a piece of paper next year, but half a size. So I'm going to cut it down to half in that way my characters i i really no honestly i think i this piece of paper this size was great for detail but really bad for travel <laughs> but yes guys i hope you have a most wonderful day merry christmas and i will see you all later and no i'll see you this week before 2018 bye